Okay guys, um, just while we've got this deal on with the gloves and pads um, through February, whenever you buy players uh, or grade one, we get a discount off the gloves and pads. So, just thought I'd run by you our, our gloves and pads on, on video. The first year, a couple of years ago, the first year we did pads and gloves, they're really nice gloves, but because of this breathable mesh that you can see on the on the gloves there, which I like, but um, the first year we had them, we had a few that came back, not loads, but we had a few that came back where the thumb had just burst through, just tore away. And uh, this was something we we had the manufacturer sort out. We've had them reinforced um, to stop that happening. But the great thing about it is it lets your hands breathe. I've always suffered with sweaty hands on a bat. Not as I'm ever at the crease that long, but uh, <laughs> um, but sweaty hands on a batting. And I don't have a problem with these. Never had to change them. You now playing some club cricket now, I get good innings in and. Don't have to change them, don't sweat up. Um, so they've been brilliant and they, they really work. Um, but what we what we did last year, and we've continued it through this year um, in our new stock, is we had them reinforced just through um, my thoughts of them and um, affirmed by sort of some mates of mine, ex players, and uh, Tom Jewell, who was at Surrey, um, what he would have liked a little bit more of uh, when we first spoke to him. Um, and we had more reinforcing put in on the left hand, on the, on the top hand, down the vulnerable part of the hand, you're fending off around the little finger, around the top of the, top of the hand there. Um, I used to see particularly when we had Devon Malcolm in our team, you see people come out with broken hands where it's got through the top here. Um, so we've had more reinforcing put in here, through the first, the, the little finger and the one next to it, the third finger. So they're the most vulnerable when we're here, playing in this position it bounces, or bounces sharp from the length. Um, there's reinforcing in all the other fingers, but more so in there. And then on the right hand, we've had, you can probably see all the extra reinforcing in here, around this area. You just see the, the shape. So in the first two fingers and the th in the thumb here, just so you take away when you get rattled there, it just takes that vulnerability of your fingers away. So really nice. Nice palms, not worn away through any of that I've played in. Been really, really good quality, really happy with those. And again, just that traditional traditional look. We, uh, I like the traditional stuff, to be fair. I don't think it changes. It's good. And the pads, same again. First year, they were really nice pads. We've not changed the style, we've just changed the amount of protection that's in them. They were up to pro standard, but we've gone a little bit further with them. So a lot of people nowadays, and particularly when I'm coaching, it, it drives me mad, is they've got this, uh, this fashion now of having the pads flare out at the bottom. So they talk about, they want knee rolls. So they have all these knee rolls. A lot of them are circular, aren't they? We've had them pleated. I don't think the knee roll shouldn't really make a difference. As long as you've got your pad in there, it should hug. Your knee should hug in there. But the problem is when you've got your, your pad loose at the bottom, like that, they have all these flared pads where you see about just the end of your toe or your boot, and the pads are always slipping round. Well, that's what we've got straps on for. Get them tight, and it stops you catching your bat on your way through as well. If they're snug fitting, nice, nice snug fitting. Stops you catching your bat through the through the stroke. So what we've done is a, on our on our pads, besides the the 
top quality protection in here we had the knee roll rather than just one band of padding across we've had it pleated so when your knee goes in there that pleat allows it to fold around your knee yeah so you can see how you can see his finger marks as soon as I take that out how it moulds in so they're really nice really light as well and once again traditional style really nice quality if you like the looks of them guys give us a shout plenty in and uh, can't beat traditional stuff <laughs>